Happy April 17th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy welcomed some new members to the party. Another Ivy, Ivy Bushtail. In fact, I think we'll call him Ivan to avoid confusion. And Sky Featherbeak. Ivan is a student and can heal us by one, um, potentially. <laughs> If, they, if they're lucky with their card draws. And Sky is a survivalist um, and can add to our defense. They both have pretty high health, three and four. So that's good. We played through their intro adventure from the Kickstarter, The Cartographer's Quest. I double checked and that adventure is still available for free on the front page of sundialgames.com. So check that out if you're inclined. Ivan and Sky had Quite a harrowing time leading up to our meeting on the road here. Sky almost died, I think twice. <laughs> uh, so I think we're all very happy to join forces. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for our growing party. Uh, let's see. Ardenstone is the closest city to the desert where Eldris claims one of the guardians resides. Fortunately, it's just a short distance along the road, offering a quick journey. However, you have the option to take an indirect route in hopes of making an unknown discovery. Um, okay, so I think it's been a rough time. Oh, oh my goodness, there's a campfire icon on this page right here, which means we can rest, which means we can get rid of this foul curse oh it's wonderful that <laughs> happened way sooner than um than i thought i thought we were gonna have this forever okay we're we're using we are definitely using a campfire so that we have two left um we go to full health and what else we we get our healing light back uh, so we can you can only use that once uh, per, once and then uh, it has to you have to take a rest to get it back again so once per rest is the way it reads and we get rid of this cursed we can probably get rid of the saved critters as well so let's get rid of that stuff all right we have a clean sheet here excellent oh <laughs> feels really good okay that curse was brutal um all right where were we all right so we rest they set up camp they spend some time and uh i think a discovery or not i'm normally inclined to go for the exploration but um i think uh i think our party would like to just stick to the safety of the road hopefully and uh, get ourselves to Ardenstone. So, let's see. Take a path through, no, take the direct route along the road, please. Roll D20 plus window, wisdom, reminder, survivalist. Um, we do have um, Sky, we could try that out if we need to. Take the route, D20 plus wisdom, 11, that gives us 12. If the result is 11 or more, you make swift progress and do not need to consume any meal rations. <laughs> we're still sitting on 12 meal rations. Um, we're, we're doing fine in that department. Okay, step two. You encounter a lively and charismatic merchant traveling in a brightly painted cart filled with an assortment of jars and pots, each brimming with golden aromatic honey. The sweet, enticing fragrance wafts through the air. The labels on the jars boast of honey sourced from different regions, each with its distinct flavor and richness. The merchant proudly explains the unique properties of each type, tempting you with tales of wild flowers, ancient forests, and secret apiaries that give their honey its distinctive taste. So, uh, we can buy honey. It costs six amber and there are two available. This thick golden liquid is sweet and can be used as a health potion or as D D4 meal rations. That's what we need. More food. Why not? 
the health potion is really nice. Um, as Sky will tell us. <laughs> it saved her life yesterday, I think. Okay, let's... Well, that would bring us down to 7 Amber, but that's what Amber is for, right? So, we may regret this, but uh, healing potions are wonderful. Honey, we have two of those. How do I, how do I, wait? honey equals health potion or one meal ration? D4 meal rations. <laughs> D mm. D4 meal rations. I think we're okay food wise for a while. Okay, and that um yeah, the rest of this is if we had gone on the indirect route. Okay. So, well, that my friends is April 17th. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy. And friends again tomorrow, I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.